Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam, and I'd like to welcome you to my iClarity podcast. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can send me an email at hello at drsamburn.com or you can text me now 1-844-932-1291. Send me your questions. Before we get to today's show, I want to announce my membership program. This is an opportunity for you to get exposed to my exclusive content and resources, things you won't see on my social media or website. The reason why I'm offering this membership program is to give you valuable information to empower you to make informed decisions about your vision and your wellness. You'll receive personalized support and coaching, goal setting, and I'm going to make you accountable so that you achieve your goals. Also, with the membership, you'll have the convenience of 24-7 access without having to pay for weekly appointments. We'll be offering a private Facebook community, so we'll be able to share with each other. And you'll be able to come to my live Q&A and ask me questions. So if you're interested, you can go to my website, drsamburn.com and sign up now. Okay, now to the show. Dr. Sam, and we're here at my podcast. I'm doing my morning hike, and I took a question from a listener. Are the plastics in contact lenses, are they toxic? So that's going to be the basis of our show today. So I'm going to reference a research study that was published. There was a group called Momovation, and they partnered with a publication called Environmental News Health. And in this particular study, they took a look at 18 pairs of contact lenses from the most popular companies in the United States to see what was the plastic used in the contact lenses. So the researchers came back from the study and they found that there were various levels of organic fluorine, which is an indicator of something called PFAS. PFAS is an indicator of what we call polyfluoral alkali, and we call it forever chemicals. Forever chemicals are a synthetic group of products that have been used in a variety of different uh, consumer materials since the 1950s. And this has been confirmed by NIH. But the issue here is these plastics can cause cancer and other serious health problems. Also, with this plastic in the eye, it can reduce something called the ocular microbiome. So I want to talk about the ocular microbiome for a minute. I published an article in Mind Body Green. You can look it up. And in that article, I list some research on how um, scientists have found that we actually have good bacteria in our eyes. And a lot of these eye infections you know, the chronic ones, autoimmune disease, recurrent um, things like conjunctivitis, or more serious cornea issues could be traced to the fact that we have a low ocular microbiome. And if we're taking long-term topical steroids, topical glaucoma medications, 
anything pharmaceutical, or we wear contact lenses, we have a higher risk of reducing the good bacteria or the ocular microbiome in the eye. And so now linking this PFAS plastic to some of the most popular contact lenses, this is something I think that the consumer needs to know. Now in this study, there were three companies that were found to have high PFAS levels. Alcon, CooperVision, and AccuView. And these are clearly reported in the research article. So I should say that the AccuView contact lens is produced by a company called Johnson & Johnson. And what the researchers found is this organic fluorine molecule in the contact lenses between 105 parts per million and 20,700 parts per million. So among the tested contact lenses, 22% displayed this organic fluorine level surpassing the 18,000 parts per minute and additionally, 44% of the lenses tested containing over 4,000 parts per minute of organic fluorine. This is pretty toxic for our eyes. So the lab conducting the study, Momovation, was very concerned because 100% of the contacts they tested had this organic fluorine marker which tells us that there is this toxic PFAS in the most popular brands of the contact lenses sold in the US. So there's one company that doesn't sell the PFAS and it's just silicon hydrogels. And this company is called Visco Vision. They are based in Taiwan. I will put the name of the contact lens in the notes of the podcast. So I think the key takeaway is that if you are a contact lens wearer, to do some research on what is actually the material that's in those contact lenses, and is there this PFAS toxic plastic, which could be affecting your ocular microbiome, and also, with this plastic material, what are the health risks and cancer risks from being exposed to this, this type of plastic? Now, the reality is, is plastic is everywhere. You know, it's a petroleum product. It's in the oceans. I mean, it's even in our bodies. And I think environmentally, we need to take a look at in the near future how to stop using plastic because it's everywhere. But if you are a contact lens wearer, I definitely would look at this company, Visco Vision, or if you do have a trusted contact lens that you like, to have a conversation with your eye doctor and find out what is in these lenses. The, the silicone hydrogels uh, are much safer than the PFAS. Now this brings us to another point, which is if you are getting cataract surgery, what is in those lenses? And I am going to do another show on intraocular lenses and the, past, the plastic polymers that are in those. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. So feel free to send me any questions if you want to learn more about it. Uh, again, I'll put the link to the, the research article. Uh, some of the big media outlets like The Guardian wrote a really nice article about it. And I think it's something now we're bringing into our awareness about do we want plastics on our eyes. All right, well, it's time for me to get back on the trail. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. Until next time, take care.
Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the iClarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.